happy day three of vlogmas Hi y'all, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings and welcome to Vlogmas, well, I've already put it in here, but Vlogmas Day 3, um, like my glasses, I know they look kind of funny because I had to put them over real glasses because I can't see without it, but I saw these at the Dollar Tree and fell in love with them and I had to have them and wear them, so, plus I used to have a lot of Christmas headbands and stuff and I can't find them, so I have to start my collection all over. I do like to kind of dress up, not fancy, just goofy. So there's that. Um, so uh, I want to know if you watched the movie last night, Christmas Carol, or, or Christmas Story, not a Christmas story, that one you had to rent or buy, but on YouTube it was Christmas Story, and I did link it in the description box below. And I had, I had never watched it, but I really liked it. Um, it's just a little different twist on Santa Claus, which I always love. Like, there's lots of different um, stories out there that how he began, and you know, I don't know. If, I don't. Children aren't supposed to be watching me, but um, what did you think of it, babe? I really liked it. It was uh, explained all of Santa Claus's uh, like myths and stuff like that. It did. It kind of explained why he didn't have anybody. It gave a reason to, like, wearing the colors he wears and stuff like that. Plus, you know, menopause is hitting hard, and I did cry in part of it, because it got sad, and I was like... Because I'm just one of the... Okay, I guess you could look at Scrooge as being sad, but I don't. But I, I want scary or happy at Christmas time. Yes, there can be scary Christmas movies. Which, talking about that, I'll mention something a little bit. Anyway, I liked it. I thought, it, I mean, it was just something different. It had sad and happy parts. I guess that's what makes a good movie. I suppose. I just don't like it when I cry, which I'm not a crier usually. But since menopause hit, there's no telling when I'm going to cry. Just saying. Um, talking about movies and scary Christmas movies, we will be watching Violet Night on Tuesday. LJ and I will be going on a movie date. Um, you might wonder why a Tuesday. That's because it's only five bucks to get in. So, yeah. yeah, I'm cheap. But yes, so, Violent Night. Um, and in case you don't know, it has David Harbour, who happens to be the crochet witch, Heather. She'd be crushing real hard on him. So, yes, uh, if you don't know who she is, I don't know where you've been, but I'll link her down below. But she crushes on him major time. And she's the only reason I even knew this movie was coming out. Like... I don't really keep up with new movies and stuff. She posted it though, and I was like, that's one I've got to watch. So, if you can mix Christmas and scary, even better because I do like Christmas. I love Halloween, 
but I like Christmas. It was my mom's favorite holiday. So if I can combine her holiday and my holiday, they made it. Okay. Song of the day is Heavy Metal Christmas by Twisted Sister. Because I can't just have all that cheery da, 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 music. I just got to add some stuff in there. Okay. Um, I was going to show you how my knitting is coming along. I'm very proud. I actually had mm, probably about, oh, I don't know, this much done. Like down to here. And then I had dropped stitches and I don't know how to fix that yet. And instead of like looking up a video, because apparently it's a lot easier than in crochet. You don't got to tink it all back. Um... I just took it out. So now I'm proud because I don't believe I have any drop stitches because I still have the same stitch count. And um, look at it. This doesn't look like flowers still. I'm probably using the wrong stitch, but I think it's cute. I'm making, oop, good job, Eva. I'm making a scarf, y'all. And I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm knitting. One stitch, that's all I know, but I'm knitting with it, so I'm happy. Um, oh, blanket. I put my red row in, because there was only one person who commented on what I should do, whether it be make the Grinch face or stripes, and so I decided I'd go with what I really liked, and it, it, it will be stripes. And then I think maybe I'll put some appliques, especially if I can find like a Grinch applique and a Max applique and yeah, maybe a few other appliques, a sled or something, but yes. So here it is. That looks really pretty. The next row will be white. So tonight I'll be putting white in and I'm doing four rows at a time. I was only going to do like three but I decided on four, and then if it looks like it's going to get way too big before I, it's time for it to be over, I'll slow down. But for right now, four and four, because I'd like to at least be almost done with it by the end of December, because January, we'll talk about January plans later on in December, but yes, yeah, so. Oh, and what I'm using, I did not talk about. Um, for the green, because my Walmart, I don't know where to find the any other bright green I am using I love this yarn and it's my favorite green and I love this yarn which is limelight that's for the Grinch you know Grinch's fur color and then red I am using I told you I'm cheap um, mainstay uh, it's a hunt all these are 100% acrylic and this one is probably just red because they don't have any interesting colors names um I don't even see a color name. This is 20. 100% of... Oh, red. Okay, there we go. Just red. I was right. So, um, yeah. So that's what I'm using. And then the white. There's no telling. I have white that's been given to me. I have mainstay white. I have a uh, big twist white. So I'll just pull a skein out. And if I if it has a label on it, I'll let you know what it is when when I do that. Um, I made notes today, so maybe I wouldn't derail so bad because I don't know if you mind that, but sometimes it just takes up time in the video and it annoys myself. Um, we got another ad, well, another 12 days. Um, we've decided um, we're going to take turns opening them, like, instead of waiting until the end of the, like, last half of the month and opening everything up, we're going to alternate. So we got me one and him one. Of oh, 12 Cups of Joy Coffee Assortment. This was at Big Lots. And they had quite a few. Well, yeah, I don't live here. So who knows if your Big Lots has a lot of them. But there's French Vanilla, Spiced Egg. Well, you know what? I'm just going to let y'all be surprised. Huh? I will go in order. And then, but yes. So we got this. And then we do uh, gingerbread houses with the kids all the time. Well, in case you don't know, my kids are grown. My oldest is 24, and my twin daughters just turned 22. That feels so old when I say their ages, for some reason. Anyway, um, it makes 10 to 12 cookies, and it's Ninja, Ninja Bread, Gingerbread Cookie Kit. And so we're going, we're going to make them with my son-in-law's brothers, 
all of us are going to. And so Ran is going to bake the cookies and cut them out, I'm assuming. And then we will all decorate our own cookie. We should be able to cook. cook. Some of us be, be able to decorate more than one. But we usually use graham crackers and make, you know, gingerbread houses every once in a while when there's a because uh, i don't want to buy a bunch of kids but if there's a kid that has enough houses i buy that but uh, this is the first year we're doing it with them this will make enough that we can i can all just buy one kit and so yes that was also a big lot so i'm excited about that my mom loved gingerbread by the way and i do like it and i love gingerbread coffee y'all want to make me happy stock me up on gingerbread coffee Yes, I like pumpkin spice, but this year, for whatever reason, gingerbread is hitting even harder. Really like it. Really like it a lot. A lot, a lot. LJ likes the peppermint, but I love that gingerbread stuff. So, <laughs> oh, and I was going to show you. Where is it? I think this is it. Yeah. So, I can't, I know I, I'm almost, LJ got me this last year. Um, for to, I forgot that I do have one other Christmas cup and it says it's either, it's either serial killer documentaries or Christmas movies. We either slay in or slay in. And that's true. <laughs> during, during December, I watch nothing but Christmas movies. Unless like, you know, all of a sudden I get a wild hair up my butt that I want to watch something else. But like in the spirit of Christmas, oh, I still have coffee in there. <laughs> Sorry, everyone's ears. Thought I was out of coffee. So, yes. Anyway. Um, oh, this headband. I crocheted it. It was in a bag that I had gotten given some yarn. And I think it has wool in it because it's kind of like sticky. If if you know, you know what I mean by sticky. But I loved the colors because that almost looks like a tie-dye type, you know. And so I made me a headband. And I also made... A cup cozy, which are not cup cozy, a, a mug rug. Um, but I'll have to show you that too tomorrow because I forgot about it. Didn't bring it over here. Okay, so the blanket. I should have mentioned this. The people that are making the blanket with me, it's a whole friend mess thing. And it's not too late for you to join in. You can do any pattern you want. And if you want to make a blanket while we're making one, I would love for you to join us. Trisha, let's see, Trisha, which Trisha's Creative Treasures, Trisha from Trisha's Creative, okay, Trisha, Melody from Melody's Cozy Crochet, oh, I don't know if she will make a video or not, she had some stuff happen, and she's just having a really hard time, so if you, I will link everybody, if you could go give her some love, I would appreciate that, um, okay, um, it's in the bag with Darla and Carla's crochet and crafts and creations. Um, uh, we, us, we, we are making, can't think of words, um, a, a granny square ripple blanket and the tutorial that I'm following. And most of us are, I'm not sure which one Trisha's um, following, but I'm, I, me and the rest of us, except for Trisha are following Bago Day's um, tutorial and I will link that down below and then my cousin her chat her channel is no idle hands she is knitting a chevron blanket so I please go check that out she will not be making a video every day because she is a trap she's a nurse and she's working I think she said 12 hour shifts and so understandably she records when she's had enough rest and she has a chance so yes um but i will link everyone it's doing the blanket excuse me the, the friend was blanket down. stop yawning dude um can help it down below <laughs> okay now for the advents let's see um well uh, let's I'll record myself. We'll do coffee in the morning and I'll record myself for that. There's a clip of me crocheting. Um, I did not get a whole lot. There's not going to be a lot of clips in this one. There's like a clip of me crocheting and that's about it. So let's see. Oh, that's the cat treats. I'm not going to eat a cat treat. Oh, that's the dog. Is Sasha in here? No, she's outside. We'll have to record giving Sasha her treat later. Um, 
they're all the same though. They all smell like fish. I've decided. Oh, so oh, I get to open some socks. Heck yeah. Oh, look at the socks I got me at Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? And they're really soft, y'all. Okay. So these are all, are they in order? Okay. So number one is right here. Let's see what I got. Very funny if it was just one sock. Tomorrow you get the next sock. Maybe. We can't get the socks. Oh, that. Yeah. You guys have got to go watch Kenyatta. Okay. I mean, you don't have to. I can't tell you what to do. But if you don't watch Kenyatta, you need to go watch her because she she's opening an advent that is just, it made me giggle so hard. I will link her down below. Please go watch at least her advent part because it made me laugh. Um. And you'll see why we were... T well, it's all bundled up. Oh, they're just blue with... But that's okay. Um, I like socks, y'all. Partly because my feet get really, really cold anymore. Like, they feel frozen most of the time. And when they do, they hurt. And one night, my foot got cold and my big toe hurt so bad, like, I wanted to cry. Anyway, they're pretty blue. Ooh, Bella would like these. But anyway... They're pretty blue. So that's my socks. So there's that one. And then let's see. What else do we have? I won't do my my rocks rocks today. Um, that's dog advent. Because we have two of them. Because we have more dogs than what calls for. That's the coffees. We should... I don't know when to open that one. Probably at the end. Of, that'll be the end of the last half of the month. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, I made a mess over there. <laughs> I think this is that it. Is the cocoa? I think so. Yeah, that's all. Okay. okay, so I'll take the cocoa out and then I will have a, a clip of me drinking it and telling you what it tastes like. So let's see. Well, holy cow, I'm breaking my finger now. Would have been smart to bring something to cut it with me, though. Y'all just be patient. Talk <laughs> amongst yourselves. Sing a little song. So if anyone's wondering, I like socks too. Crew size 10. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I would uh, I would sing you a song, but I'll get a, a, a copyright strike. Oh, and I was going to ask y'all's opinion. How would you like it if, not necessarily during, during Vlogmas, but I start doing a segment after... December where me and LJ like sit and it's just him playing the guitar and I'll, I'll crochet and you can have a little Zen moment or something. So let me know if that's something y'all would be interested in because I think that would be kind of fun and I like to hear my husband play. So that would be me and him getting to spend time together and entertaining y'all at the same time. And I promise this is coming off. It is. You guys will get some peaceful instrumentals to crochet to. Yes. Or play in the background or something. Um, there we go. Slide it out. Oh, that's cute. French vanilla hot cocoa mix. I'm not sure how French vanilla hot cocoa mix is going to taste, but... Delicious. There. And of course, LJ will be drinking the same wine. Yes. So, uh... He will do his hot cocoa and his Pokemon today, and then tomorrow it'll be his Pokemon and his um, coffee. Oh, and I should do my rocks because that's a whole 25 days. So let's see what... I fixed it, but that's not saying... Oh, that's... This thing's real cheap, though. So let's see. <laughs> what number... What number was that? Note nine. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, three. But I'm still happy, and they're still pretty. Oh, that one's real shiny. Uh, it's black. Really? Hold it up a little bit higher. Oh, yeah, that's neat. And let's see if it tells me. See, the bad thing is, is if I look, it's liable to spill them everywhere. Uh, this one is obsidian. That's what I thought. This one's obsidian. A little higher up? Sorry. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one way better than the other ones. And it 
because of the place. So, oh, and I have my shout out because Kenyatta was my shout out yesterday. I did give her a shout out because y'all need to go. She's at it again. Um, y'all need to just, you'll understand the whole sock thing whenever. Yeah. Oh, notes. Like I said, I did make notes. Let's not get sidetracked. So I will link Bag of Days pattern down below or the tutorial. I recommend it. It's she tells you how to make like a throw size. She tell I have trouble when someone says multiples of such and such. I'm just not gonna lie to you. I have trouble with numbers until so I get very confused. So if someone tells me exactly how many to chain to make a certain size, it makes me so very happy. And so I'm making a throw size. And she told me how many. And so I didn't have to do math because I'm really bad at math. Um, I thought I put a shout out on here. Well, let's, you know what? Let's do KBX. He would love to get to 100. Well, above 100 because I'm at 100 right now. Oh, yeah. He's at 100. I did. I'd like to get to 150, maybe. 150. So I will link him down below. He's a wonderful person. He paid me to say that. He's a wonderful person and very talented. And he's not been making videos. And believe it or not, if you watch his videos, he's way more animated in real life. I don't... He's like a character. But then when he gets... I don't know what his deal is about recording. But he talks about sobriety and he talks about music. So if you're into any of that... Or if you would just want to do us a solid and go subscribe, I would so appreciate that. You don't even have to put it so you get notifications every time. I mean, it'd be nice if you watched him and commented and liked, which I hope you do with this one. But I'm just saying. Um, I thought I wrote a shout out down. I had no one in mind. I thought I sat down and wrote one down. Because I was going to do my little research and decide who needed one. But Neva didn't. So I got to get started earlier. And while well, my brain juices are awake and think. And I appreciate it in advance. Oh, <laughs> he is a pretty great guy, y'all. Oh, and you want me to open Pokemon for you this time? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. We'll surprise. We'll, we'll help him. You have to call Darla back. She just called you. <laughs> okay. I'll call you back, Darla. Day three of Pokemon. Day three. Can they see it? Yeah. Ooh, that one looks iconic. I wonder if they got the <gasps> color right. It's Pokemon! <laughs> it's Pikachu, I mean. Pikachu. Yeah, his color is right. He actually looks like Pikachu. That would make a cute Amigurumi. They Come have up. ones out there. The I face, just... though, he's making. <laughs> he does look like he needs a poop or He's something. like, ah! Yeah. So. Too cute. I do. I don't know these, except for I know Pikachu. That's it. That's There's the only over one I know. a thousand of them now. I'm like, wow. Okay, well, I'm just saying I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna put him back in his little door. Okay. Maybe you could put the other ones in, and I don't know. So I opened it for him today. Tomorrow we'll. I know we said we're gonna do a different setup. We didn't, but yeah. Um, but we didn't have the craziness we did yesterday. So I love y'all and. I hope that you have a wonderful, okay, I hope you have a Scroogey, Grinchy day. Stay manic. And not really. Have a wonderful day. Although I enjoy being Grinchy. Okay, so I'm kind of disappointed. I taste no chocolate, which I don't know what I was thinking. French vanilla, of course, it's not going to be chocolate. But you can see that it had some brown in it. So I don't I don't know, y'all. But at first I only tasted milk, and I was like, eh. But it has flavor, and it's okay if you like vanilla. But I'm not a huge... I don't mind French vanilla in my coffee, because I can still taste my coffee. But this is just, yeah, a little sad, I hope. The next one is better. LJ likes it, but LJ loves vanilla. So yes, if it says uh, French vanilla hot chocolate, I expect to be some chocolate in there. Just saying. <laughs>